Frank Clive Burroughs, a retired minister on our district. Lockdown and the killing of George Floyd has changed our lives significantly. Churches have engaged technology to minister in ways which have reached people who wouldn't have crossed the threshold of a church before. Some have prayerfully reflected on God's word to re-examine values and attitudes. Mike has called to act justly, to love mercy, and walk humbly with our God speaks with new power and relevance of the innate equality and dignity of every human person created in the image of God in glorious diversity, and to recognize the need to challenge attitudes and structures which subtly preserve injustice, prejudice, and division to enable the church to grow in true holiness, justice and genuine love and become a visible light in our communities. Acts of the Apostles tells the story of the continuing ministry of Jesus in the world by the Holy Spirit through the lives of apostles, deacons and the ever-growing number of ordinary disciples but shows also how God uses negative historic events to change and shape the church, transform understanding and attitudes, and advance his mission in the world. The outbreak of persecution against Christians following the killing of Stephen scattered ordinary believers from Jerusalem to Judea, Samaria, Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch. These displaced believers were no undercover disciples, but shared the good news of Jesus with fellow Jews. Others came from Cyprus and Cyrene to Antioch, where they told the good news to Greek Gentiles. The Lord's hands was upon them, and a great number believed and turned to the Lord. When news reached the apostles in Jerusalem, it caused shockwaves of surprise. So Barnabas was dispatched to investigate. What Barnabas found convinced him that God's grace was at work in these Gentile believers, and he endorsed and encouraged their mission. And it was here that followers of Jesus were first called Christians. God used persecution to inaugurate what he had always intended. Christian disciples engaged in new areas of mission even before the leaders of the church had envisioned it, endorsed it, or developed a theological understanding of it. That came at the specially called Mission Council in Jerusalem, where Peter declared, God knows the heart, accepted them, the Gentiles, giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. He made no difference between us and them. He purified their hearts by faith. God has no favorites. Paul affirmed this in Galatians. In Christ Jesus, the only thing that matters is faith expressing itself through love. And we are all children of God, baptized into Christ and clothed with Christ. So there is neither Jew nor Greek, slave or free, male or female. We are all one in Christ Jesus. Today is a Kairos opportunity for the church to move with the directing of the Spirit of God in our time and place. Let us open our ears and hearts to hear and do what the Spirit is saying to us today. And may God help us and empower us. Amen.